This is a GMAT data sufficiency practice question. It's a medium difficulty question from coordinate geometry. I'll classify this question as a 650 to 700 level question. Is the slope of the line that passes through the point P, Q positive? The information that we have about this line from the question stem, is it passing through the point P, Q? Before we delve into the statements, let's get clarity on these two questions. What kind of an answer will this question fetch? It's an is question. So the answer is going to be yes or no. The second question, when is the data going to be sufficient? If you get a definite yes, saying that the slope of this line is positive, then the data is sufficient. Conversely, if you get a definite no, saying that the slope of this line cannot be positive, even then the data is sufficient. The data is not sufficient if you basically pick that piece of information from the statements together or independently, put it into this jigsaw puzzle and still come up with an answer saying that, hey, despite piecing this information into it, Sometimes I get a positive sloping line, sometimes a line which is not positive sloping. We're not sure, which is when the data is not sufficient. Let's start with statement one. Approach I'm going to take is one of counter example. The statement says that P, Q are greater than zero. Both P and Q are positive. If both P and Q are positive, then obviously this point is a first quadrant point. First quadrant is where both X and Y are positive. Look at it right now, what information do we have then? we know that this line passes through a point in the first quadrant. So all that the information that we have is about only one point in the line. If we know two points through which the line passes, we'll know which line we are talking about. Can we have positive sloping lines passing through a point in the first quadrant? Yes. If this had been the case, the answer to the question will be an S. Can we draw a negative sloping line that passes through a point in the first quadrant? Certainly yes. In this case, the answer would have been a no. So sometimes yes, sometimes no. We don't have a conclusive answer. Statement one alone is not sufficient. Eliminate answer options A and D right away. Scratch it off. What we are left with is B, C or E. If statement two alone is sufficient, then we'll go with B. Else let's combine and check out. Let's evaluate statement two alone. Again, the approach I'm going to take is counter example. The X intercept of line is K and it is such that that is greater than P. X intercept of this line, which we are trying to evaluate has a value which is greater than the x coordinate of the point p comma q through which it is passing. So look at an example where k is greater than p and the line is a positive sloping line. Let's start with a case where p comma q is a third quadrant point. What you need to keep in mind right now is p comma q both were greater than zero came from statement one. Now we are evaluating statement two alone. So this information, please erase it from your RAM. All that we have right now is that the x-intercept of this line is greater than the x-coordinate of a point through which this line is passing. So p can be positive, p can be negative, p can be zero, it can be anything. So I'm picking p comma q as a three, third quadrant point in this example. So if it's a third quadrant point, then p comma q will both be negative. p is a negative number, p is a negative number. k is the x-intercept of this line. The way I've drawn p comma q is in the third quadrant, and k intercept, the line intercepts the x-axis in the positive direction of x-axis. So the x-intercept here, if you look at it, is a positive number. More importantly, k is to the right of p, which means that k is going to be greater than p. So the condition stated in statement two has been adhered to. Is this a positive sloping line? Yes, the answer is yes. Let me see if I can draw another line, which is going to continue to maintain this condition that k is greater than p, but is a negative sloping line. If that exists, then a counter example exists. Statement two alone is not sufficient. Let's look at a point in the first quadrant for P comma Q. If P comma Q is a first quadrant point, then P is a value here. And this line is a negative sloping line. It intercepts the X axis here. We realize that K is to the right of P, which means that K is greater than P. Condition stated in statement two is maintained, is adhered to. Is the line a positive sloping line? The answer is a no. In the last example, the way we drew, we took P, P comma Q as a third quadrant point and we realized that even in this case, K is greater than P if this is P comma Q. And this was a positive sloping line. We drew this in the last slide. Here we realized that this is a negative sloping line. So sometimes yes, sometimes no. A counter example exists, which means statement two alone is also not sufficient. Eliminate answer option B. We are down to C or E. Actually, the easier part of the questions are done. Eliminating statement one and statement two is the easiest part. Combining the two statements, we have the following information. P comma Q is greater than zero, which means it's a first quadrant point. The X-intercept of the line K is greater than P. 
let's check out whether it is feasible to have this condition with a positive sloping line and check out whether it's feasible with a negative sloping line as well. If it can exist, both these conditions can exist in both scenarios, the answer is the data is not sufficient. If it can exist with only one of the scenarios, then the answer is the data is sufficient. What kind of lines are positive sloping lines? Let's quickly draw a positive sloping line and check out what happens. The x and y values increase simultaneously. A line with a positive slope will have both its x and y coordinates increasing simultaneously. So here is our positive sloping line. Combining the two data that we have, let's see whether both can be fitted into it. P, Q is a first quadrant point, which means both P and Q are positive. K, 0 is the x-intercept of this line. This is a positive sloping line. Q is a positive number in the point P, Q. At the x-intercept, the y-coordinate is 0. So between these two points, if we observe, Q is greater than 0. The y-coordinate of P, Q is greater than the y-coordinate of the x-intercept. If it's a positive sloping line, if its y-coordinates are increasing, the x-coordinate should also increase. Obviously, we'll have that P is greater than K. Without so much reasoning, I'm reasoning it so that to make it absolutely conclusive, if we observe it with our eye, we realize that P is to the right of K, which means that P is greater than K. But what does statement 2 state? Statement 2 is stating us that K should be greater than P, or it's essentially stating that P should be less than K. That cannot coexist with P, Q being a first quadrant point and the line being a positive sloping line. This contradicts statement 2. If P, Q is a first quadrant point and this line is a positive sloping line, it cannot satisfy the condition that K should be greater than P, which means that it cannot be a positive sloping line is what we are inferring. Let's check out whether it can exist with a negative sloping line. Here is a negative sloping line. P, Q is a first quadrant point. Negative sloping lines are such lines where as the value of X increases, the value of Y should decrease. Between the point P, Q and the x-intercept, look at it, x-intercept is a place where the uh, coordinate is going to be k, 0. q decreases, p increases from an i, by observing it with our plane i, we realize that k is to the right of p, so k is greater than p, p, q is a first quadrant point and this line satisfies both these conditions, it's a negative sloping line. A positive sloping line cannot satisfy the second condition, negative sloping line can satisfy both the conditions. So if both conditions were to hold good, that is going to happen only when this line is a negative sloping line. So combining the two statements, we have a conclusive answer. We are able to answer it with a definite no. Summarize it in a printed form. A line with a positive sloping line will have both its x and y coordinates increasing simultaneously. The y coordinate of the x-intercept of the line is 0. The y coordinate of any point in the first quadrant is going to be greater than the y coordinate of the x-intercept, which means that k, q is going to be greater than 0. Because it's a positive sloping line, if Q is greater than 0, then obviously P has to be greater than K because X and Y coordinates should increase simultaneously. This contradicts the information given in statement 2, which means that if statement 2 were to hold good, then the line cannot be a positive sloping line. So combining the information with the two statements, we can conclude that this line is not a positive sloping line. Therefore, we have a definite answer by taking the statements together. Choice C is the correct answer to the question.